Hello, this is Uchwal, brand ambassador for Dressna Craft, and today I'm showing you how you can alter a simple MDF frame and make it into something very unique. To start with, I have an MDF frame. This is 8 inches by 10 inches, and I will be using the Whispering Love uh, paper collection. I chose this uh, beautiful newspaper print uh, paper from the collection because uh, it's pretty neutral and I can work with any colors on it. Uh, so the first step would be to give a coat of gesso to the frame. This is like a primer for our surface and it will uh, increase the longevity of the uh, frame as well as uh, prime it for all the mediums and anything that we might add on it later. Now the idea here is to make it look like an open window. So I'm using uh, some recycled card. I'm recycling some cardboard pieces from packaging here, and I've cut them to size to uh, make them look like uh, a window. And before I adhere them or before I work on them, I am removing the backing paper and revealing some of the corrugated uh, board texture underneath. And this will add more interest and. Uh, more texture to our overall project so i'm going to trim this with a paper knife to make sure it fits perfectly and then uh, to these cardboard pieces as well we are going to give a coat of gesso again to increase their uh, life and to make them more sturdier now once the gesso is dry i am using a gel medium here and i will be uh, adhering the paper from the paper collection uh, on the frame this will be our first uh, layer or first base uh, of the frame and you can see I'm applying the gel in sections I started from one corner and uh, I will continue adding more gel medium and pressing down the paper uh, making sure that it's it fits perfectly uh, and don't be shy with the medium apply it generously and uh, let the paper sit for a while press it use a sponge or a cloth to kind of press it down a little bit uh, and let it dry completely since the papers are really thick there would be no wrinkles at all and then we are going to trim all the excess paper that we have now the dress by craft papers have a slight coating to them which uh, does not allow for uh, any watercolor or water-based mediums to stay on top so i'm adding a very light layer of gesso so that i can add more mediums and sprays and mists on top of it so just going with a very light hand and uh, adding gesso only to the areas where i uh, intend on uh, adding the mediums and sprays Uh, next I'm using this artist canvas stencil this is one of my favorite stencils because of that amazing texture it adds and I will be using it with some uh, modeling paste here and just quickly uh, add more visual uh, as well as more tangible texture uh, to our uh, window frames I will also add the same uh, stenciling of, on the uh, main frame as well just uh, along the areas where I added gesso so that the texture paste sticks well and those are the areas that would actually be visible uh, once I add those additional uh, cardboard sections on the frame so I'm just uh, positioning my canvas accordingly making sure that the areas that will be visible uh, have more texture now we're going to let this dry and uh, i'm using the non-stick craft mat from dress my craft this is such a great addition to keep your space neat and clean and now that the texture paste is dry i'm using some mists i have the distress spray in uh, raspberry pink and then i have the lindy spray mist in scintillating silver and i will be using both of these colors together to uh, add 
color to our frame so I've added a little bit of pink and then I'm going to dilute it a little bit or let it spread a little bit with the silver so the colors do dull down once they try so make sure you add the colors accordingly you will see me add two layers here um, and I'm just adding a lot of silver and then making all the color drip and move around uh, to create uh, more interest and uh, I, I did the same for like all the three pieces of our frame so this like creates a more fluid more a flowy look uh, on the frame the color is not just on one place and it looks like uh, it was intentional while it was totally organic so now that this is you can see this is completely dry it has uh, lightened down the color is lightened down so I'm adding another layer of pink uh, Adding layers also adds a lot of interest. So I'm adding another coat of pink here and then I'm going to let it dry. So once it was dry, I'm adding some black ink splatter. I'm just uh, taking the ink in my brush and splattering it gently, creating small tiny splatters. Again, splatters create a lot of interest uh, and make everything look pretty. So this is my uh, go-to technique for any mixed media. So now we are going to let it dry completely and while that is drying I'm going to work on the embellishments. So I'm using some dyes, classic doily, foliage dye and tropical swirls. Um, and then I have the Whispering Love motif sheet here that I've already cut out. Uh, and I will also be using some satin ribbon twine. And then I have these flowers that I actually made. Uh, in another video and I will be using these same ones because they go really well with the whole pink theme so I will link down this uh, flower making video in the description box below uh, and you can check it out so now once everything is dry I am just ready to assemble I'm using glossy accents to put everything together so the first thing that goes on is the window frame and now just I'm just going to put all the different pieces together I've die cut all those leaves and tropical swirls and I'm uh, just going to take a little while to figure out all the placements and once everything is ready I'm going to uh, glue it all down uh, using hot glue so yeah that's how i created this frame i hope you enjoyed this process and if you did don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel uh, and you can share this video with your friends as well so that they can also try some of these techniques so thank you so much for watching today and have a great day bye